Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the fact that misogyny is now going to be recorded as a hate crime. Not in the United States, at least not yet. For now, this is a new law in England and Wales. The new law comes on the heels of the absolutely horrible and tragic murder of a woman named Sarah Everard. England and Wales will officially be ordered to record all crimes they suspect could have been motivated by hostility based on gender and has the potential to apply to crimes such as murder, sexual offense, Offenses, domestic violence, harassment, and stalking. Now, this is a questionable law to me for a number of reasons, the most obvious being what exactly do they mean by misogyny? Is misogyny itself the crime, or is it, for example, a man punches a woman in the face and it's later discovered that the reason he punched the woman in the face is due to the fact that he hates women and therefore it's categorized as a misogyny motivated crime. If it's the latter, then great, that's a reasonable law. If a crime like assault or murder can be established as having been motivated by a hatred of women, then of course it should be categorized in this way. However, if it's the former, if a man isn't violent, he's not threatening anyone, but he is misogynistic and he doesn't like women and he's saying, mean things to them online and in person and he's convicted of a crime for this, then this is extremely dangerous territory and it's going to go from 0 to 100 very quickly. The reason I actually do suspect that this might in fact be the case is because they include harassment in the new law. And again, what do they mean by harassment? Is harassment like a real tangible threat or is it a mean tweet on Twitter? Are we going to start seeing feminists, for example, succeed in getting their Twitter trolls thrown into prison? Also, so if misogyny is a hate crime, why is it that misandry is not also a hate crime? Are men not allowed to hate women, but women are allowed to hate men? Because believe me, there are plenty of radical women out there who absolutely hate men. They're the types of women who tweet in Twitter hashtags like kill all men and men are garbage or men are trash. Further, why do we have some protected groups but not others? Literally, at this point, every single group is a protected group except for straight men, white people, and and sometimes Asian people, depending on the mood that the left is in and whether or not they can use the Asian community to their advantage in some way. That said, I don't think that misogyny, insofar as you simply don't like women and say mean things to them, or misandry, insofar as you simply don't like men and say mean things to them, should be considered a crime. People who hate men or women, yeah, they're jerks, but we can't criminalize this. Something else I quickly wanted to mention is the controversy surrounding the not all men hashtag on Twitter. Twitter. Essentially, after Sarah Everard's death, a lot of men and even some women were tweeting in defense of men in general, saying that not all men are bad. The feminists, and much of the left in general of course, freaked out and accused men of pretending to be victims and of making Sarah Everard's murder all about themselves. And they also insisted that replying by saying not all men wasn't a valid response because none of them had ever accused all men of being guilty in the first place. The fact is though that a lot of men respond with hashtags like not all men because a lot of women do in fact accuse and blame all men. Non-stop since like 2014, all we've heard from feminists is that all men are part of a patriarchy that oppresses all women. A viewer of my channel recently emailed me an absolutely crazy article called Outrage After Brower College Forces Boys to Apologize to Female Students for Sexism. Parents of male students at a school in Victoria Southwest are outraged after their sons were forced to stand up at an assembly and apologize to their female classmates. Male students at Brower College were purportedly told to apologize to the girls for offensive behavior on behalf of their gender. Danielle Shepard told Seven News that her 12-year-old son, who is in year seven at the school, was left feeling confused following the exercise. He said that he was made to stand up and basically apologize. It wasn't explained properly to the male students what they were doing or why they were doing it, she said. Again, if there isn't some sort of narrative being pushed, then why on earth are innocent young boys being asked to apologize to women for things that they didn't do? Nobody is saying that an individual man who commits an actual crime against a woman shouldn't go to prison. Everybody agrees that he should. What people are disagreeing on is extending that guilt from the individual who committed the crime to other men simply because they are also men. This is idiotic, corrupt, and tyrannical. I'm genuinely very curious to know what all of you guys think about 
this new misogyny hate speech law? Do you think it's a reasonable law or do you think it's going to be used as yet another tool to infringe upon people's freedom of speech? And also, do you think that this law is going to remain isolated to England and Wales? Or can you see it soon coming to countries like the United States, Canada, Australia, etc.? I'm genuinely very curious, so please do let me know in the comments below. And on that note, I'm going to end this video, but before I do, I just want to ask all of you really quickly if you can please take a moment to follow me on some alternative platforms, especially Telegram, I would say, because I do post there most consistently, and you will find links to all of my alternative social media platforms either in the top pinned comment or the description of this video. Thank you so much again for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all soon.